All right. I've got a pistol. What man. U.S. state do you hate the most, and why? I'll let you go first on this one. Uh, I um, uh, probably the state I hate the most. Probably Utah. Mm. Would you like to explain it's, it's to our like Mormon a... viewers why? <laughs> It just seems like a lot of like crazy shit happens, like crazy like like extremist, not like violent shit, Mormon but like extremists. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like a lot of those like insane videos seem to come out of Utah. Like there's like a gay marriage thing in California, and the Mormon church from Utah sent like a million dollars in like ad revenue to try and get that shit like canceled or like uh, uh -huh. vetoed or whatever. I don't know. Not voted in the bill. Yeah, yeah. And shit worked. <laughs> but, well, yeah. it's Utah. Uh, what's your? Ah, it's got to be one of the the southern states that isn't very progressive in anything. Um, do runner runner up for mine's Florida. Why Florida? Just because I'm curious. <laughs> it's literally a retirement home. It is. There are a lot of uh, horrible people who aren't old there, though. That's, that's true. Yeah, uh, what's that one? It's like the Cuban guy's name. He's like the, he's like in government, kind of. He ran for president last time. Um, I have no idea. He's, uh, it was like Mark something, wasn't it? Marco Rubio? I have no idea who that is. Yeah, yeah. Wait, is that him? Mark Rubio. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he said... I thought that was a soccer uh, player. He said he... <laughs> Probably is. So he, um, I'm probably getting my facts wrong here, but it was during that, he was like, he just finished like talking crap to Obama about like, the, like the whole birth certificate thing. Huh. And then he started talking about he, how he was like a Cuban immigrant. Can you do that and run for and president? Like, no, you can't. What? <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. That's what I thought. And he was like, I came here. My family came here from Cuba. I know a thing or two about struggles or something like that. And he was like, wait, 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 what? <laughs> yeah, that's... So he confessed not being American, and did he get taken off the ballot? <laughs> I'm not too sure. Okay. I Smart guy. I think I'm getting that wrong, but who cares? Yeah, I don't, that seems like a dumb move. That's That's pretty stupid. All right, so mine. So what's your? Uh, it's got to be one of the southern, southeastern United States uh, states. It's um. Uh, it's got to be between Louisiana and uh, Alabama. I, the people who live in those two states just. Uh, I, I mean, I'm not. I'm not going to generalize. I know that there are some places in Alabama and Louisiana that are nice, great places to live, but, um, I, looking from the outside and, like, where I've driven through and what I've heard about your state on the news, Alabama, it, it just seems like a horrible place to live. Uh, yeah, I, there's not much more I can say about it. It just seems like a bad place to be. There's a lot of poverty, uh, education, like, ranking-wise, your schools are terrible. Um, yeah, I, I just think that if we had to drop a state, I, I think that if we got rid of them as a country, we would be better off. <laughs> if, if that, uh, if that's not horrible. Which it is. It's not horrible at all. Well, I'm sure, so everyone in Alabama <laughs> that hears this is gonna be just, oh, you're crazy, it's, this place is great. Uh, but I, I feel like, you know, the other fi uh, 49 are just going to be like, yeah, you know what, he's right. <laughs> I feel, yeah, I feel like if they, so if they lived outside It's 49 of, to 1 like... Alabama people. And I'm sure even some of them agree. <laughs> They're like, yeah, this place sucks. <laughs> yeah, do you know what the other runner-up for mine is? Arizona. Arizona is bad, too. Like, like nothing good happened in Arizona. Yeah, explain to it's them... It's full, like, racist. Explain to them why, uh, like, some of the... The laws for children that, uh, the, the, the irrational ones that they have in, uh, Arizona. Like the Sharpie and so the, you uh... literally, 
Okay, so you you can't buy. Bro, Connor, what is the problem 18... here? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. If He's never buy... this bad at zombies. I promise. <laughs> uh, yeah, I swear I'm not. You need to uh, you need to like fly. You need to show ID to buy sharpies. Yeah, that's yeah, that's bad. Like. And, uh, you need to show ID to buy spray paint, you need to show ID to... And some other, like, ridiculous stuff. That it shouldn't be. And, it's like, wait, why? <laughs> oh, oh, oh god, that's... Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 jeez. Ha. <laughs> <sighs> yes. Uh, yeah, and they had that... We had, they had that bill about, like, um... They basically said it was okay to discriminate against, uh, like, gay yeah, people, that's... Or people or race oh, if I you listed, uh, religion at your business. I thought you were going to talk about how, uh, like, in Arizona they made that, uh, law where if, if a cop saw a suspicious-looking Mexican person, they yeah. could, like, oh, yeah, they could so... pull him over, like, pull him aside and be like, hey, where are your papers to make sure that you're a citizen? That's, yeah. that's messed up. If, that's, uh, like, if communism. A Basically, oh. cops have power in Arizona to, uh, pull over any, basically any brown person, not, that, that, that was actually probably horribly racist, but, um, I remember when they told us that at school, uh, I was in seventh grade when it happened, and people were cheering, people were happy, <laughs> it was, like, my teacher was like, yeah, it's, it's about time those darn Mexicans, you know, they're taking responsibility for being Mexican. And, uh, yeah, it turns out I went to a really oh, racist awesome. middle school. Didn't think so, so at the time, but, like, looking back, I'm just like, wow, they were, that's bad. <laughs> that violates yeah. a lot of constitutional <laughs> rights right there. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's horrible. That's, that's bad. Mm. But, uh, basically what happened, what, what cops can do here is if they see anybody, basically anybody even non-white, they, yeah. can, they can pull them over. Or I, this law might have been an appeal, I'm not too sure, but they can, uh, they can pull them over, and they can be like, where's your green card? And they can, like, just demand your ID, and if you're, uh... Or citizen, proof of citizenship, they're not all immigrants, Connor. <laughs> a lot of them are. <laughs> Sorry. A lot of them are. Sorry. Not all of them, man. Uh, and, uh, if you can't show that, you can, I think you can be, like, arrested or something, or if you're an immigrant and you don't have your green card, you can be, like, fined. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, there was Sounds that. Sounds about right. <laughs> it was, like, it was the last state to, like, officially have Martin Luther King Day as a holiday. Just because they were bitter? And, uh, uh, probably, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, before, yeah, was... before we hear any more about that horrible state of Arizona, uh, what is your irrational fear? Uh, do you want to hear first on this one? I can go first, yeah. Uh... Wasps, bees, anything with a stinger, I, I am terrified of. And I, I mean, I've been stung by several wasps and several bees, but if one, if I'm outside and one flies by me, I'm ducking and I'm covering and I'm running and yeah, I, I just have an irrational fear of pain when there doesn't need to be pain, I guess. Because, you know, I mean, like be as macho as you want. Getting stung by a wasp, that hurts. Oh, it hurts so bad. I hate that. Yeah, it does. That's the worst. And then I guess, like, an irrational, a super irrational fear, because, you know, this could never happen to me. Uh, scorpions. I, I've never, I don't live in a place where scorpions could get to me, <laughs> but, uh... I have been, I've been, like, yeah. I don't know, if, yeah, it's getting stung, and it's, uh, I've gotten stung by a scorpion before. It's awful. It is awful. Yeah. This Mind you, it was just... when I was, like, eight. So, uh, I don't remember too much of it, but it was bad. Those just seem like the devil packed in one small little creature. Same with wasps, too. The wasps are Satan. <laughs> my, yeah. I don't know, my irrational fear is... This might not be that irrational, but it's, it's things I can't see. Okay, so... Elaborate on so that So, like... So, like, say I'm, a, uh, Say I'm in my kitchen getting some water. Okay. And I... I think I see some, like, weird shadow behind me in the fridge. That'll... Like... I like a little kind of mirror on my fridge. Like, in the, uh... So, you know, like, that place where you go to get, like, the water out of the fridge? 
that's like stainless steel on mine. Uh huh. And um, it kind of forms like a mirror, and it'll freak me out if I see something like move behind me. And she's like um, like a bird or like something like moving like the blinds, and I'll just be like freak out for the rest of the night because I don't know what's out there. It's kind of like fear of the unknown, basically. You know? All right. Huh. Or like uh. I don't know if that's like that irrational, but that yeah, kind of freaks me out. I I don't like the unknown either, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Or uh, that that seemed that was awfully specific. <laughs> yeah, that happened like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> or I'm I'm kind of like halfway afraid of my house, I guess, because so whenever my house my house makes noises that sound like people uh -huh. like like have you ever you ever heard like a dog like claw like it knows you're in a door and it'll like claw at the door to try and like get you to come and like give it yes. attention yes imagine like imagine like somebody trying to like scrape their way through like like through a door they're trapped in my uh -huh. house sounds like that sometimes when like the air conditioner turn on yeah. <laughs> it sounds like, it sounds like there's like a small animal like trapped in my roof that's like trying to claw its way out. Big toy for the big yeah, that doesn't and, sound, uh... <laughs> oh, sound carries pretty well in my house, like voices especially. Uh -huh. And I, um, I went downstairs and I was, I had like kind of music playing on, on my TV because I had my, um, I have my Xbox my Xbox up at the TV, and I was playing, uh, like, the iHeartRadio app, and I had, like, kind of music going. Mm -hmm. And I went downstairs, and I forgot about the music, because I couldn't really hear it for a few. And I was, like, talking to my mom on the phone. And, uh, I just heard, like, this, like, female, like, oddly calm voice. And I couldn't really make out what she was saying. But I knew she was talking, and that I was home alone. And that really freaked me out. Yeah, that would be scary. I don't know why. That's happened to me before, like, yeah. something like that's happened. Next question? Yeah, that freaked me the hell out. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah.